Everyone, Happy New Year to you. And if you're in the study mode, I hope that your term is going well. So this video, as you can see by the title, um, is maybe different than the other ones just because I have made the decision to actually take a break from South College or if you're new to this channel, I've been doing a doctoral of education that's competence-based through South College. However, it was clear to me over the break that um, I do need to take a little bit of time for myself personally and um, just through some family situations that are going on right now. Um, I took a holiday break and I spent time with my family and I just kind of came to some realizations that my priorities kind of need to shift a little bit for the next while. And luckily, and this is truly the benefit of competence-based education, I am able to withdraw from my program because at least for me, I was nearing the end of my first term, which was six months. And I have the decision to, you know, continue or not to continue. And originally I obviously was hoping to continue at this point, you know, I had done, you know, about half of the ninth course and I was going to be moving into the dissertation. So really, I had completed over eight courses at this point in time. And as I hit the point by which go I could go into the next term, I had paid my tuition, but I'm able to actually get a refund because if you um, withdraw in a certain amount of time, you can actually get your money back. For me, I have to be careful with my money because I don't have a lot. I've always self-funded my schooling and, you know, I don't work necessarily a full-time job and I'm a Canadian. So, you know, when... An American is paying, let's say, five thousand dollars, and I'm paying like more, like seven thousand dollars. So it's definitely something I have to be cautious of: is how my money is being used. And so I knew I was going to be going into this year and not kind of in the right headspace to do the ninth and tenth courses, which are very demanding. I would say, even just being in the ninth course, it's clear to me that this is a lot more work and precision and excellence that's required um, compared to the other courses just because you have to really refine your dissertation topic and have clarity around the data set and everything and even though I thought I did um, I there was definitely a lot more work to be done and I just don't have the right mind space to go down that path right now so I'm taking a break and um, you know maybe at one point I'll be in the right headspace to come back and that is part of of the reason why I did withdraw is because I could have the option of going back. Um, I would have to reapply and then talk to some of the leaders in the program to see kind of how I would kind of integrate back in, probably have to restart the ninth course and that's fine. Um, you know, I might even have a different dissertation idea at that time. Just because as I'm doing the dissertation as well, I'm starting to realize that there are certain parameters and conditions that need to be really followed and and just attended to in order to do a really well-crafted research project and final report for that dissertation. And the dissertation isn't something that you can just grind out. It, I, I've said this in many other videos. Um, people sometimes say to me like, oh, you just, you're so far along, just like finish it up. But I mean, this is a massive project that can take sometimes six months to do from what I've heard from other people. And a lot of it is kind of getting the feedback you need from multiple people on your committee and perfecting. It's really about perfecting. And at that point in your doctoral studies, you really have to have a handle on um, academic writing and you have to have a handle on how to conduct research properly, how to analyze data. Like, so, I mean, it's not something you can just wing out alongside some other personal things that are going on in your life. So I just feel really good about my decision. Even if I chose not to finish the program, uh, I feel very privileged and happy that I got to do this experience because I learned a lot about myself actually while I was working hard. I think there was a little bit of naivety going into the program about how much work had to be done and um, you know, I was up for that challenge, but I think maybe that na naivety was not a bad thing. I don't know if I would have been as open and eager to do the program knowing how much work it really was, but I, I proved to myself how capable I am of managing a lot of different projects and coursework and life and work activities outside of school. In no way, I don't want people to feel disappointed for me because, you know, if I choose not to continue, then that is my decision to make and I'm 
I'm fine with that. I'm someone who really values my values. And if I don't value something enough, I'm not going to just grind it out inauthentically because I think, you know, it's more admirable to do something or, you know, or socially desirable to do something. I just really follow my heart and I follow what I believe is best in my life. I've done that for most of my life. And so I'm just going to continue with that. So thank you to those who have followed my journey and I hope my videos have kind of inspired you. You know, I've tried to be educational as well as informative through my videos. You will probably see me again in another video at one point, but for now I'm just going to take a little break and focus on what is most important in my life right now. So thanks for staying tuned and being a supporter.